Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Advanced font formatting options are available through the use of the font dialog box. You can access the font dialog box by clicking the font dialog box button that appears in the lower right corner of the font group in the home tab of the ribbon. Inside of this dialog box there are two tabs, the font tab and the advanced tab. On the font tab you can access many lesser used text effects that are also available. These include font options such as shadow or emboss. You can use the various drop down selectors and check boxes to apply the desired formatting. Note that you can also view your changes in the preview area at the bottom of the font dialog box before you actually apply them. Now one interesting and useful point to note is that once you have set the formatting options for a font that you would like to set as your default font for all future documents, you can click the Set as Default button that appears in the lower left corner of the font dialog box to set the currently displayed font formatting as the new default font used for new documents that are created in the future on that computer. Otherwise, once you've selected the text formatting and set it to your liking within this dialog box, you can simply press the OK button to apply your changes. Now when you are formatting text, you may want to simply copy the formatting from one text selection and then paste only the formatting onto other text selections. This can save you a lot of time when formatting documents that have a standard appearance for many sections. Word provides you with the Format Painter button that appears in the clipboard group on the Home tab within the ribbon to do this. This button allows you to copy and paste the formatting, but not the content, from one selection of text to multiple other selections. So for example, if you were creating a document that had a 17-point Arial red font that was used for section titles, you could simply copy the format from the first title and then paste that formatting onto the other titles. To copy the text formatting from one section to another, you first need to select the text that has the formatting that you want to copy. Now if you only want to copy the selected formatting from one location to another location, you can then click the Format Painter button in the clipboard group on the Home tab in the ribbon, and then click and drag over the next location to which you would like to paste that formatting. If you want to copy the selected formatting to multiple locations, then you will simply double click the Format Painter button instead. That locks the feature on. After that, you can then click and drag over multiple other text areas within the document to which you want to apply the formatting that you just copied. Note also, if you double clicked the Format Painter button in order to paste the selected format to multiple locations, you will need to click the button once more to turn the feature back off once you've finished pasting the formatting into the desired areas. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.